Okay, getting back into the change business. Uh, here today we have the ADCAR uh, change gap model uh, in comparison to Lewin's change model. If you remember Lewin uh, from the last class or uh, last semester uh, or do your review videos, uh, Lewin's change model ex existed of unfreezing, change, and refreezing. Well, that's very similar to the ADCAR model. It just has a few more steps. And what I like about the ADCAR model is, uh, and you have a copy, uh, is, is this part over here. Uh, that's what makes it uh, meaningful to me uh, outside of Lewin's change model. So the ADCAR, we start out with, if we're gonna have change, we need a group of people to change, uh, they have to become aware. They have to understand the need for change and we need to point out the problems. We have problems and there is a need for change. Now, if you don't do this step, uh, if you don't get the employees to become aware of the problems, uh, then you would have confusion because we're trying to change and the employees might be saying, I, I don't understand why, why are we doing this? What are we doing? Why? What's wrong with uh, things the way they are? So that's an important step. Uh, but once they become aware of the need for change, which is part of the unfreezing process, uh, we need them to have desire, where the employees want the change and they're willing to participate and support the change effort, whatever that might be. So in this case, uh, when they have the desire to change, they are in a state of readiness for change and hopefully they become at least a little dissatisfied with the way things are. They become aware of the problems. Oh, we didn't know that was a problem. Oh yeah, uh, I support that. We need to do that. If you don't have desire, you end up with resistance. I don't want to change. Why? It's a waste of time. Why would, why would, uh, uh, yeah, well still, I don't care. Uh, so we need to get people on board. Here again, all part of the unfreezing process. Now, once they have the desire to change and there's little confusion, there's little or no resistance, uh, they need to have the knowledge how to change. What, you know, do I need information? Do I need training? Uh, how can we make this happen? And once we provide them with all the tools, uh, I'm gonna put tools here. Uh, then this would reduce the fear and anxiety that they would be uh, experiencing if they didn't uh, know how to change. So that's an important step. Now we are in uh, Lewin's, what Lewin would call the change stage. Uh, now that they know how to change, uh, abilities uh, become the focus. The new skills that they might need to have uh, the new processes that they might need to understand, new tools, new computer programs. Uh, at this point, we need to go slow and use coaching. If not, uh, if we don't get this taken care of, we'll have frustration and fear. Maybe you've come across that you've been presented with the new computer program, uh, computer program uh, the online registration, you know, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, what are we gonna do? What's, I don't understand what to do or how to do it or where to go or all of that stuff. So then you end up with fear and frustration. Now, uh, the refreezing part from Lewin is called uh, reinforcement, where we recognize our successes, we recognize uh, uh, how, how much better we're doing than we were in the past. We notice the improvements, we point out the improvements, and uh, celebrate the successes. If we don't do this uh, and have the follow-up, reinforcement, follow-up, refreezing, then we'll end up with backsliding. So this model I thought was interesting. It, uh, once I looked at it for a while, I started to notice this is Lewin's change model. It's just got a few extra steps, but what I like is they explain what the result will be if we do not achieve each step. Awareness, confusion, desire, 
If they don't have that, there will, there will be resistance. If they don't have the knowledge, it's going to be fear and anxiety. Change, change. Everybody hates change. Uh, uh, ability. Uh, again, frustration and fear and backsliding. So there you go. A new change model that uh, as a manager you should pay attention to because it shows the results of what you'll get, the results that you'll get if you don't complete each step. So there you go. ADCAR change model in comparison with Lewin's change model and the consequences of failure. <laughs>